So this is the Nokia N97. This is a highly was a highly anticipated phone. Uh, oh, it, they announced it around the same time as the Palm Pre. So I yeah. a few weeks earlier, I think. So a few weeks earlier, yeah. The, the, the only difference is that the Palm Pre had a lot more hype because it was something that blew everybody away. Right. Whereas the N97, to be really honest, is Series 60 version 5. Yeah. Right? S60, they call it. Not Series 60, yeah. Right, Somebody that's... corrected us. It's not Series 60 from the previous episode, right? Yeah. Okay, S60 version 5, right? Okay. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the, the hardware. Okay, so a uh, big resistive, resistive touchscreen. Okay, right. so uh, basically resistive touchscreen right uh, reacts by uh, by pressure. Okay, so that is the reason why uh, every res a phone right, that has this kind of screen right comes with a stylus, and that's why this phone comes with a stylus. Yes, which I didn't bring the stylus today. Yeah, I don't think it's anything to do with the fact that uh, is uh, is it people complain that they want to write Chinese or anything like that? No, I don't think it has anything to do with any of that. It's simply by the fact that every resistive touchscreen right, uh, the advantage of resistive touchscreen is that it's very precise. Right. Yeah, so with a stylus right, you can even add that precision to a bit further. As a bonus, you can right Chinese and whatever okay. yeah but it's just a bonus there's, there's no, nothing to do with uh, with that uh, so the stylus actually you hang it onto the phone right yes. and lanyard just like the Omni, uh, Samsung Omnia, Omnia you just pull it on this VOT all these are using the same yeah design. same time so the screen uh, so we had there's a proximity sensor and then there's a, uh, a light ambient sensor as well right. we don't know which one is which <laughs> uh, front facing camera for video calls Okay, so basically the ambient sensor, what it does is that when it's dark, the, it'll dim the screen so it doesn't uh, blind you, right. makes it more comfortable for the eyes, and it'll light up the, the keys as well as the keyboard. Okay, call and hang up button, these are touch buttons. This is the home menu button, which is uh, traditionally this one, this this button here for the Note, the Series 60. For S60 looks, is actually... It looks better this way, actually. Mm, yeah, but not so obvious, it's a menu button. Right. Yeah. Okay, so you have a micro USB port. Which is the best. Yeah, which is best. So this is a light to indicate when it's charging. Right. The whole switch, uh, we're finding more and more of these on the S60 version 5 devices. Yeah. Uh, the, the Samsung one has it, The uh, even the, the, the uh, 5800 has which it as well. Which is quite useful actually. Mm, yeah, right. so instead of, host, instead of something else. La. And stereo speakers. Stereo speakers, so one over here and one over here. How's the sound uh, for the stereo speakers? Not bad. Not, Not bad, bad for our phone. Definitely better than the uh, the i8 910H. The, right. yeah. So, uh, microphone is here. Okay. And uh, over here you have the Call Zeiss Autofocus 5 megapixel camera. Okay, so you can just open with a LED flash. Okay. Which is a bit disappointing. Oh, is it? They should have come out with one that is the Xenon, the Xenon flash. Yep. The LED flash makes the photo look quite washed out. Oh, right, right. right. So, usually I just go without the flash. So, this is the camera button as well as the uh, volume control slash zoom, right? So we were talk remember what we were talking about last week? So now the volume control, is uh, this is actually a pretty comfortable way to, to actually use use yes. this particular device. Uh, what else? 3.5mm headphone jack, very good. As yes. well as the power switch. Uh, this power switch, of course, can be used to, to uh, change, profile. change profile as well, right? And, of course, the highlight of this device, the QWERTY keyboard. Yeah. So the the sliding mechanism, um, to me, it's uh, when I first use it, it's, it's easy. Uh, like you press, 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 it doesn't do anything. Then suddenly, it'll yes. just pop open. Yeah. Where's the closing? Uh, it's a bit more smoother. Yeah. Well, once you get used to it, it's okay already. To me, it was a bit scary the first time I did this. Like, <laughs> wow, like as if the whole thing just fly off. But it's quite comfortable. It, it makes you feel like opening, closing, opening, closing for while well, yeah, yeah. you have nothing to do. So uh, the angle is actually quite interesting. The mechanism, if you actually want to see it, uh, not sure whether be able to focus on to the mechanism but uh yes, yeah it's probably not two, two flat inside. so you two see this one inside. here and then you have this one here as well as the one in front so uh, this is how the mechanism you see that the screen is almost just floating there like, right. right uh the keyboard is actually pretty nice yes yeah um the, the layout flat, though some people complain that it's too flat but it doesn't uh, go in a lot like. right yeah, yeah. but it it's very doesn't soft. matter to me soft. because i'm used to touch screen already. Mm, so it's very very soft uh, right. uh, the, the first way, part is the five way the direction. five way direction yeah this is really really good good um so we were saying right one of the things about uh series 60 is that it's always been designed for you know phones with physical buttons and all that kind of yes. stuff and and with S60 version 5, right, uh, they haven't solved the on-screen keyboard kind of thing. It's, it's still very, a little, it's kind of strange, lah, right? We were talking about it last week. Right. So, for this phone, right, with a QWERTY keyboard, it makes a huge difference. Yeah, you don't have to rely on the on-screen keyboard and uh, for text input. So, I, I, I prefer this is uh, I prefer this so much better than compared to the, uh, the on-screen keyboard. Well, there's still the um, on-screen... Um, um, 
number so number pet, T9 or, uh, like yes. number pet. So that, that is actually quite for, for quick entry lah. All right. Uh, they actually put a lot of correct right keys inside here. So for example. Uh, you see there's a blue key, right? This one is the, the the number key. So with that, right, one of the symbols, like the slash for the web browser, when you type URLs, the dash and all that kind of stuff, and the period. Uh, the, the period is actually kind of strange because you actually need to press the shift button to get comma. I think it's a firmware bug here. Firmware bug. Most likely they will change it. How do you, the you going to change it? Firmware, just upgrade the firmware. No, but, but th this is a period, right? Full uh, stop, right? By right, you should be shift, press shift, then get the period. So how you should press oh. it to get a period. So now is you need press shift, then you can get a period, is it? Yes. Oh, yeah, must definitely a firmware so problem. Most likely it's a firmware bug. I mean, yep. oh, this is still like it's only one week old. Yeah, it's only one week old. All right. So at the back, uh, you can see the specs for this thing. Thirty-two gigabytes of internal memory is insane. Yeah. Yes, and they still give you a SD card yes, slot. Yes, they still give you SD card slot. Uh, mini yeah. SD, sorry. So how the 32 gb works is that... Sorry, micro SD. It, it will actually appear as a, a mass storage. So in other words, right, in your phone, right, you'll see three three things. Your internal phone memory, which, uh, which is not much, right? Probably about, uh, at most, 100 megabytes. Yes. Okay. 32 gigabytes of mass storage. So this is the place where you can store your photos, your music, and all that kind of stuff. And then, of course, your SD card. So the good thing is that when you reformat the device, you reset all the settings, right? Uh, your music and photos and all that will still be around. Right. Yeah. Uh, your messages and your contacts and all that, uh, they are stored in the most likely stored in the full memory. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Autofocus, the, the camera, we talked about it already. So the screen is a 3.5 uh, inch uh, AGPS, Bluetooth 2.0, wireless LAN, 3G HSDPA, USB 2.0, and FM. FM transmitter as well. Right. Very cool. So you can actually use this to, to transmit uh, music uh, to your stereo system.